Hi everybody! So it has been a very long time since I have done some lip swatches and I have been in the mood. So I decided to start with a classic and bring it back to like 2012 Makeup YouTube and swatch all of my Bullet MAC lipsticks. I only have 10 so it really wasn't that big of a deal but I thought it would be fun to start that way. I'm feeling a little nostalgic and also to kind of get an idea of people's opinions about whether or not they would like to see more stuff like this and perhaps a return of Lipstick Roulette. So if you weren't around many years ago, I did a weekly series called Lipstick Roulette where I had my lipsticks in a box and I would randomly pick lipsticks. I would use them throughout the week and then at the end of the week, I would recap them. I would talk kind of the pros and cons of the lipsticks, how long it lasted and everything else. Now, I'm not wearing a whole lot of lipstick because most of the time my face is covered by a mask. So. I thought this would be a good opportunity to at least try some more of my lipsticks and maybe rediscover some things that I had forgotten about. So let me know if you'd like to see a lipstick roulette with some of my lipsticks. I don't have a lot of older stuff and I'm sure like a lot of my MAC lipsticks are actually lipsticks that have been discontinued, but that doesn't mean that I can't still use them. It doesn't mean I can't still talk about them. Maybe you have them, maybe you forgot about them. Maybe we all just need some inspiration and to use some of our older stuff. So I'm gonna go through the 10 lipsticks and show you swatch it on my hand and the swatch on my lip and just talk a little bit about them. So I'm gonna start with my newest lipstick, which still isn't very new. I also have enough stuff to back to MAC, probably about three lipsticks worth. So if you think there are any lipsticks I need to check out, please let me know. I know from the comments of my uh, last lipstick related video where I talked about discontinued lipsticks, Faux is on my list. So anyway, let me know. The first one is one of the Powder Kiss lipsticks. So I didn't know what to expect with the Powder Kiss lipsticks. I had swatched this back in the store. Now I know swatching in store is not a thing right now, but at some point in the future, I would love to get to a Mac store and do some swatches. So this lipstick is called Ripened and this is such a beautiful, cool toned color. Usually with my back to back choices, I've been opting for more of the unique cool toned colors, but this lipstick I find applied lightly. It looks just like my lips. Now there's this one and there's another one I have that's probably closer to like my actual lip color than this because when I really apply this darker, you can tell that it's, it's, it's that purple color with a little bit of gray. I think it looks beautiful on me, but now for reference as well, I'm very cool toned. So my MAC shade is an NW15. Sometimes if I am really fair, it could be as light as an NW13. Um, I am a very cool person with those pink undertones. So lipsticks that are cool, that have a little bit of gray in them, tend to look more flattering on me than they might of someone with a warmer complexion. So Ripened is one of my favorites and one of my go-tos to lightly apply on my lips. And I love pairing this with eye looks that I'm not quite sure about. If I'm like, mm, I wanna put something on my lips but I'm not sure what, it's this or there's one other one. So I also really like the packaging of the Powder Kiss lipsticks. So for reference, this is a regular one and this is the powdered kiss one they're just a little bit duller and like a matte and they have like they just feel better than the regular matte mac packaging so anyway ripened is one of my favorite lipsticks to use and i've been trying to remind myself to use it more often the next lipstick i have is the samantha ravendahl lipstick so i talked about this in my discontinued lipsticks because i think this is such a beautiful shade i think that samantha did a really good job creating this lipstick and i really hope that if Sometimes she has the opportunity to kind of create more lipsticks or have her own brand I hope that she would have a shade like this in her line because I feel like it's a very very good Sort of neutral Beigey color. I feel like it's really close to my skin tone And it's the kind of thing that I like pairing with a dark dramatic eye So it's like one of my go-to's when I can't think about what to do with my eye makeup or just my makeup in general is a dark colored smoky eye whether it's just black or whether it's like a deep green or just, 
you know, even a deep blue, just something that's a really deep color. I like to do that kind of an eye thing and just kind of focus the drama on the eye, maybe put a little bit of glitter and then just like an almost nothing kind of lip, like a concealer lip. And I think that one is really beautiful. And that one is a creme sheen formula. It's like the powdered kiss lipsticks are sort of like a matte lipstick, but they feel more comfortable than what we traditionally think of as matte lipsticks, at least in my opinion. I don't have a lot of uh, current knowledge when it comes to new lipsticks, but it actually reminds me a little bit of the Lisa Eldridge lipsticks as well, those sort of like velvet lipsticks. That's the kind of texture and the feel it has. It's very smooth and soft and just such a delight to use. Uh, now this is the other one I was referring to. This is called Really Me and this is again a cool toned sort of nude color for, for me and I love pairing this one with those other looks as well. This is like this and Ripened I feel like are very close when I apply them lightly on my lips but when I go heavier with ripens you can tell how much more purple it is this is definitely more of that sort of like beigey kind of color and it just is such a com comfortable color it is a matte as well and i do have issues with like my lips showing texture because like i will exfoliate my lips and i will hydrate them but hey they are real lips and I don't have lip fillers or something in my lips so like sometimes I, I get self-conscious about it but I realize it's because I'm so used to seeing like altered images or people who have had sort of modifications and nothing against it. Hey I might even get that done to myself at some point if I ever had the money to do it because I think that it's like aesthetically more pleasing but anyway really me is this is a beautiful cool toned nude color and I love that MAC has those options because I feel like for the longest time a lot of like nude colors, a lot of more neutral sort of beiges and even like various shades of brown were leaning a little bit more towards the warm side which isn't a bad thing but just it was harder to find something that looked a little bit more natural when you had cooler undertones so I like that there's a lot more options now. There's another creme sheen lipstick. This is Among the Fireflies which I bought entirely because of the name. It came with the MAC Fairy collection from a few years ago and I bought a few things from that collection and I just love the name of the collection. I love the advertisements for that collection. I am a very into mythology and fairies and when people call me a fairy on um, like my Instagram comments or my do comments, like it brings me such joy because I have long been such a fan of the mythology behind fairies and everything. So anyway, Among the Fireflies is a beautiful, more warmer brown color. Uh, it does have a little bit of a sheen to it which makes sense. I don't find that it wears very well on my lips, like it doesn't last for a long time. That's a thing with the creme sheen formula, but I do really love this color and this is kind of what a 90s brown color is to me. Uh, I know people have different opinions about it, but this is the kind of color that I feel like I remember seeing in the 90s and close to colors that I actually wore in the late 90s or early 2000s, like having those uh, um, lip smacker, lipsticks, the ones that you could, that, they're hard to explain, I keep doing this, but it, it almost kind of did look like a lighter, and you flick the top up off them, anyway, I had a whole bunch of them, and I feel like that was similar to that, and one I talked about in my discontinued lipstick thing, which was um, Aloof from Maybelline, and I feel like it's just a very similar color to that, without being um, too much of like a modern take on a 90s lip, which I feel like tends to be a little bit more red, this just seemed more brown, so. The next lipstick is the one that I'm wearing, and this is Riot House, and this is also a matte lipstick. It's a unique pale peach color, and I bought it entirely because one day I was at the MAC counter, I believe my sister was with me, I can't remember, but I think so, um, and I was, we were just killing time, and I let the makeup artist that was working there just do whatever she wanted to my face. It was like a slow day and I was just like, do whatever you want. And she used this lipstick and a lip liner in the outer corner, which is like a brown lip liner. I'm pretty sure I bought the lip liner as well. I just can't remember what lipstick or lip liner it was, but um, it, 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 she made it look really cool with like the darker outer corner. So it wasn't like a, like a whole lip line. It was just darker outer, cor outer corner with this peach lipstick in the middle. And this is a lipstick I've kind of been afraid of because when I look at it, it looks so vibrant and like it, it would be too much. And I have to remember to use this more because I think it's such a great unique color 
and I don't have a whole lot of like unique lipsticks, so that's that's a fun matte color. Uh, the next lipstick is another Creme Sheen lipstick, and this is Sun Blessed. So this came from a set. Um, this is the, the, the cool packaging where the outside actually matches the color of the lipstick itself. And this is a beautiful pink shade, and I... I got this uh, passed on to me for my sister, so it didn't work for her, but I really like it. I haven't used it very often. It's also a lipstick that I seem to forget about, which is a problem, and, a, and a, I'm going to make an effort. I'm gonna make a dedicated effort to use these lipsticks more, but I just think it's such a beautiful pink color. There's like a little hint of peach as well in there. And I like lipsticks that have a little, like a slight orange undertone in them. I feel like they end up complementing usually like the kind of makeup I do because I tend to like favor orange, warm kind of golden tones. And I find that orange tones flatter my eyes more. Having blue eyes and having that contrast is just, it's a personal preference of mine anyway. The next lipstick is Pink Plaid and this is another matte lipstick and it is exactly what it sounds like. It is a pink lipstick. I'm not very good at describing like the undertones of lipsticks and a lot of these are long discontinued anyway but this is a little bit more of a kind of blue based pink a little bit on the cooler side which again i find to be a little bit more flattering for me in comparison to some other pinks that that might lean a little bit more to uh, the warmer side um on and on is a frost lipstick and it is so incredibly unique I don't have anything like this, and this is one that I forget about. And I put it on my lips and I'm like, what? This makes me feel powerful. Like there's something about a cool colored lipstick, and I don't mean just cool undertone, but just like cool lipstick, something that looks different, that makes me feel badass. Like this and then the, one of the next ones I'm gonna talk about is heroin. And there's something about like, especially a lipstick that is a little bit purple. Give me a big lash and a purple lipstick of some kind and I feel like I could take over the world like it's funny when a lot of people are like I don't know what to do to like look put together really quickly or like I spent a lot of time on my makeup and I just feel like false eyelashes and a bold lip makes it seem like you know what you were doing even if you don't know what you're doing and it always makes me feel super confident like that way even if I have no other makeup on my face at all I honestly could just do the lashes and the lipstick and still feel really awesome so I really have to use this lipstick more like I I need to do a whole I want to do a whole purple look like a metallic purple eye and the highlighter and the lip but then I want to do very simple and just let the lips do the talking or maybe like a slight hint of like purple like highlight kind of like a lit like maybe like minor purple like blush draping and I mean like nothing like super dramatic but just keep it around like eye level and just like a tiny little like c shape and then that lipstick i just have a few different visions i love thinking about how i would apply different lipstick colors or different makeup in general like what i would pair it with and i'm just thinking like i could go full dramatic full face monochromatic or very simple little places but even just lashes and the lipstick anyway it's, a, it's not a lipstick I have a lot of experience with, so I thought it would be something to rediscover and I'd love to hear if you guys have any ideas on how to use that lipstick. Heroin is the next one and this is one of my all-time favorite lipsticks. It's a purple lipstick. I feel like a superhero in it. I think like it's, it's totally named appropriately. Like I really feel like I could conquer anything when I wear that lipstick. It's one of those lipsticks, like for some people, they want a good red lipstick or you know whatever they're kind of comfortable wearing and I feel more comfortable in a purple lipstick than I do in a red lipstick like I feel more comfortable in a black lipstick than I do in a red lipstick but the purple there's something about it that is so cool and it just it's the lipstick that I've probably gotten the most compliments on that I remember like it's the kind of it's the kind of lipstick that I would wear to like the grocery store and I'm not joking I I will put on a full face of makeup for the grocery store and sometimes it would say it would just be you know like even mascara and the bold lipstick because at least I'd feel like I was kind of put together and I'd be out at Costco and there'd be somebody who'd be like hey I really like your lipstick and it's that kind of color that I feel like gets people talking and especially if 
somebody is interested in makeup, they are gonna ask you about that kind of a color. They, it stands out and it's like, hey, you kind of like recognize each other as like, you are somebody who is also interested in makeup. Yeah, I've had some really good experiences wearing it and it just, it's one of those things that just makes me feel good and I feel like I, of all the lipsticks I have, heroin is one of those like top 10 that I feel like I would always have to have regardless of, of everything else. I'm one of the ones that I keep going back to and I've talked about for years as being one of my favorite lipsticks. And the last lipstick is a red lipstick. It's Russian red and I like it. Again, I'm not a red lipstick person. People always say that they like me in a red lip and it's just one of those things that I feel the most self-conscious in. I feel like it's probably because the red lipsticks I used in the past weren't very flattering and when you're when you struggle a little bit with your lips like my lips are on the smaller side and I, I just feel like red lipstick really draws attention there like yes a black and a purple and a whatever bold green lipstick whatever else I like wearing will draw attention but it, it almost seems different in a way it's kind of like a, I don't care what you think so what are you gonna do like critique my lip line or my application or whatever but a red lipstick just seems so classic and if you kind of screw it up then I feel like people really notice that and uh, I feel like I, I'm repressing some sort of memory about like being made fun of for wearing a red lipstick I feel like that's kind of like somewhere in there but I really wanted Ruby Woo and I let the salesperson talk me into Russian Red and I feel like I, that's why I might have like a little bit of resentment towards Russian Red over Ruby Woo and I don't doubt that Russian Red is more flattering on me. I, I am keen on t trusting the makeup artists and their opinions as well but you know I had that built in my head because I feel like Ruby Woo is the iconic red lipstick and Russian Red is not as iconic but anyway. I have to wear it more, I have to try more red things because I, I, I do think that it, it does look good and I appreciate like the classiness of a red lipstick, but I don't know, I keep going to like nudes and purples and everything else besides red, like I do what I can to avoid red lipsticks, but I have a lot of red lipsticks and I feel like I need uh, some sort of a lipstick roulette or some sort of lipstick product project as well to, to use those reds and kind of get more comfortable wearing them. Like I can't remember the last time I wore a red lipstick out in public, like it's just one of those kind of things. And I, I really want to kind of conquer that fear, which really doesn't sound like it should be that serious, but for me it is. Considering like the weird and dramatic makeup I do all the other time, the red lipstick is the thing that like makes my heart go. Who knows? Who knows? We got all, all have weird hangups, I guess. So anyway, those are my 10 bullet lipsticks from MAC. Let me know if you'd be interested in a lipstick roulette or some kind of lipstick series if you have any ideas. I've done like 30 days of lipstick before, which was fun, but might be a little bit more challenging to film depending on the format I did it in. But so anyway, I just thought this would be fun for a little nostalgia and to talk about some of the things I enjoy using and some of the things I don't and why. And yeah, so let me know if you have any suggestions for projects related to lipstick. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day or night, wherever you are, and I hope we get a chance to chat soon. Bye for now.